The vein viewer is this device that projects onto the skin a continuous image of the subcutaneous venous map. The image is captured by an infrared camera. It is processed and projected back over the same spot on the skin almost in real time. It can show veins as deep as 8 mm. This was initially developed for finding veins, helping labs and hospitals to collect blood and establishing lines to inject medications. By using the vein viewer, the impression we have as we examine the patient's leg is that the vein viewer was developed specifically for phlebology. This shows the lesion that first brings the patient to us. This shows the search for feeder veins. You can see that they appear in a wide gamut of forms, from different directions, sometimes unpredictable. We believe that the presence of feeder veins is the key element to succeed on leg vein treatment. There were always three ways to determine if telangiectasias have or not feeder veins. The first one, naked eye visualization. Second one, decompression test. And the third one, treatment failure. Better room illumination, transillumination or ultrasound may help to find feeder veins. But feeder veins are normally 1 to 6 mm deep. We can call this zone a nobody's layer, for they are too deep for direct visualization and too shallow for ultrasound detection. This is the laser applied under cooling, called the cryolaser. This shows the sclerotherapy under cooling, called cryosclero. Most of the times we can follow the vein disappearing. This shows the vacuuming of a clot. This shows the mapping prior to surgery. We foresaw this device as a milestone in phlebology, and after working for more than two years with it, we noticed that our practice has improved as well as our results. To exemplify that, we present the following case. By naked eye, we can see some feeder veins, but with the vein viewer, we can see almost all of them. Here we see the vein viewer guiding the laser treatment. Sometimes we won't see the ready collapse of the vein. Complementary, we perform cryoscleral. On the second session, some veins still showed refilling. In this situation, we noticed the enhancement of response probably due to inflammation of the vein walls. Here, the attempt to perform cryoscleral showed us that the vessel was actually closed. Always vacuum the occasional clots.